You are looking at a generator expression, but what is it and when is it useful? Here is list employees where each element is a tuple of name and salary. I want to calculate the sum of salaries and for this I need to map the list of employees to a list of salaries. This list comprehension unpacks each tuple and returns a list of salaries. I execute the code. Notice that the result is a list of integers. I pass the salaries list to the sum function and print the result. And that works. My code is full of list comprehensions like this because mapping lists is a big part of my work. But there is one thing I wish I realized earlier. The list comprehension returns a new list with all salaries from the employee list. This is no problem for small lists, but when you deal with large datasets and convert lists many times, this can lead to memory problems. So what if I insert the list comprehensions directly in the print statement? Well, this will work, but Python still created the list of salaries in memory and passed it to the sum function. But what is it that the sum function does? Without looking it up, I guess it does something like this. It sets a value to 0, it gets an iterator from the salaries list and starts iterating, adds each element to the total, and returns the total. Notice that the sum function only needs one element at a time in the loop. So wouldn't it be nice if the sum function could ask for the next salary when it needs it instead of getting a list of all salaries? And this is where generator expressions come in. Look at the code again. I will replace the list comprehension with a generator expression by replacing the square brackets with round brackets. A generator expression does not return a list, but instead it returns a generator object that produces values on demand. Look at the output. A generator object was created instead of a list of salaries. Also notice that the sum function was able to use the generator object to calculate the sum of salaries. Each time when the sum function requested a new value, the generator object accessed the employees list to get a salary from the tuple. If you want, you can spare variable salaries by passing the generator expression directly to the sum function. And that works as well. Things get even more interesting when lists are filtered as well. And to see how that works, click on this video right now. There you learn how to map and filter with list comprehensions.